refueling truck is on its way. Please don't load air boarding requested. Fuel truck is in position. Please don't load aircraft until the fuel truck arrives and ask to do it. What's going on guys? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you guys are doing just well. Let me know, as always, how the music, uh, the music to, you know, voice ratio is. Hopefully it's good, good and dandy. But, uh, welcome. This one's gonna be fun, I hope. Um, weather's kind of diminishing. I looked all at the weather all around where we're gonna be flying. It's got a potential to get worse, or it could stay as it is, which is meh. Um... But yeah, we got some quick flights. Um, the longest one's like 45 minutes, so we'll <laughs> we'll hurry up. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be hauling some. The theme behind it is kind of like, right? You live out in Alaska, so you're pretty reliant on these cargo cargo drops. Um, so that's kind of the mission we're we're simulating tonight is uh, important cargo going to pretty uh, pretty small. Uh, remote areas. I was actually watching, um, shoot, what is it? Alaskan Bush People, uh, earlier today. I'm on, like, this binge of it. Um, and Ketchikan actually has, like, I think it's, like, 400 people living in it. In it. I'm almost certain there's, like, 400 people in my community, like, in my little subdivision. So, um, yeah, we gotta move some important stuff, but before we even do that, we'll get started with Josh coming in with a membership. I appreciate you, boss. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Zemp is here. What's going on, Zemp? Space Ghost, how are you this evening? d Champ, what's going on, big boss? You got some news for me yet? I need some news, man. I need some news. Greg, how are you? Welcome, welcome. And Steve is here. Welcome. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Good night, gentlemen. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. But yes, without further ado, uh, we'll open the door uh, so this thing could actually start being loaded. Um, well, we'll go to here. Uh, ran another Sierra Drive flight with the sound mod the other day. Ear I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's just, it's, it's a money shot or a money sound. Like, I am right there with you, my man. It is, it's almost like how, how, right? Like how? Not yet? Oh, man. Hold on. Give me one second. Let me uh, crack open the office door to say goodnight to my daughter. Hi. Huh? I'm busy right now. I'll be in a bit. Cool. Sorry about that. All right. Back to the flight deck. We almost had an invader. Not yet. Oh my gosh, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, cool. That stuff is getting loaded. We need to come over here to the little tablet. Click that. Jump upstairs. I only turned on the power because I was hoping the doors would open automatically. But they didn't. Uh, we'll go there. There. Uh, there and there. We got a cruise of... 33,000 feet. Wow, that's up there. Okay. Um, if we must. Three, three, uh, zero. We'll turn on the seatbelt signs for the boxes. And uh, we'll get the fans on. Actually, there's no th no pack. There's no air in the pack system, so we can keep it off. I would think, right? Like, if there ain't nothing, nothing being utilized from it, might as well not use it. Um, cool. So we have all that. Uh, main door is open. We'll jump down to this. We are at Papa Alpha Yankee Alpha. Uh, go here, drop you into that one. Um, Papa Alpha to Yankee Alpha. And then we're going to Papa Alpha Sierra India. Cool. Make 
make sure I keep up with chat. Tempted to not pick up the 900. It's, I I just bought it, you know, off off the bat. Like when I bought the CRJ, I just bought the pack. Um, but with that being said, I don't know. Like for me, it, the sounds make it flyable, right? Like it makes it makes me want to fly it. Um, but there's still just this like missing setting plan fuel. We'll set it then. Um, it's it's GSX. We'll we'll go here. Uh, set the payload. Set the fuel. Select the route. Hopefully that should take care of it. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like. I would probably, I would probably say get it, only because it's like, well, I don't know when an update's gonna come. Like, if you knew one was like in the in the like close to coming, like, alright, wait for the update. But seeing that you don't know when it's coming, I was like, eh, I guess just grab it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one of those toss-ups, right? Like, it's like a if I do have it, I'm happy. If I don't have it, like, I'm probably just as fine with the sound of the 700. Um, cool, we got that. Uh, we do have a departure out of here. It is the, f the Fakes. The Fakes 4. Uh, we'll take the Fakes 4. We're going off of runway 11. Um, and then we have the... There's an R nav, I believe, uh, around these next to the woods. Um, let's see. If we pop that in there, that should make the top thing work there. Yes, it does. And it should give us some charts. So, per the chart... We want one of these RNAS for 11. Um, it's just which one. Uh, unload this flight plan. Import, yes, because I want the charts. Please. Um. It is the approach. Um, I'm going to say this one. And I would like it. Nope, it is not that one. So let's try race. the LDA. That's what we want. Um, from here, yes. And I'll show you that one in just a minute. Um, let's take a gander outside. Let's see how they're doing. We've got two pallets. Okay. Wonder what's in them. Probably a bunch of like hunting stuff. Hunting and like fishing. That's my guess. Uh, it's 19, but then again, I could... If, if, if it's between those two, here's how I personally justify airplanes versus sceneries. How many times are you going to fly into that one scenery, like, with multiple different airplanes for that matter, right? Like CRJ, the Zebo, the Phoenix, you know, whatever, whatever you own, right? How many times are you going to fly into JFK? Or how many times you're going to fly that airplane to many different airports. Because um, it's like JFK is only good for, you know, the f 15, 20, 30 minutes you're on the ground taking off. Or the 5 to 12 minutes you're landing, taxiing, and exiting the sim. Um, but in the airplanes, right, if you buy that airplane, you can fly on the East Coast, the West Coast, and China, and South America, and Europe. So that's kind of how I sort mine out. Uh, how close am I to instrument rating? I am, next up is my end of course. So I'm done with, the, I have all the requirements um, for the FAA. Um, now I just have to wait to be put on the schedule pretty much for my end of course, uh, which is a lift thing. Uh, and then if I, not if, when I pass that, it will be on to the FAA check ride. So hopefully within the next two weeks at max, hope, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, we'll get this Apu going. And cool, perf in it. So, yeah, that, that's just how I think about it. Like, because I mean, if I'm going to spend the money, like, what am I going to spend this money and, and get uh, more utils out of? The measurement of happiness. Uh, but here, what the? That's a little weird. There we go. Uh, we'll hide this. Here's our approach uh, the LDA for runway 11. Uh, so, we're going to come kind of like this I think Let's see. yeah we'll cut off BKA and we'll go from fakes to here do the little 20 DME arc and in so I don't know where they're getting 40 minutes out of this like 
That's probably like a 25 minute flight. We'll see. But that's our approach. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, we'll load up this stuff. And I think I put 330 if I'm not mistaken. Let me. Yes, 330. Cool. Done. Bamboozle. Uh, 5.9, yep, that matches what Simbrief says on this screen. Um, we'll take this information here, and we're going to go off 1-1, one, one, take from the airplane, we'll grab the weather, and we'll calculate this. Uh, TO2 degree, uh, 51, so 5-1 here, TO2 should give us, no, 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 it says 87, bro. Uh, Go to, oh no, it said 82, sorry. 80, 83, all right, cool, we even got a little more. Uh, we'll do flaps one, and we'll just cross check. We got 25s and 28s, 25s and 28s, lovely. Uh, with a 5.36, 37, sure. So let that roll. I'm happy about there. Gander outside. Just whack the tug. No bueno. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Um, cool. We're just about set, checked, and ready to go. We'll finalize some of the numbers. We'll take one last gander at the weather here. And I uh, think it's time to kick some, fire, kick some tires, light some fires, and get the heck out of Dodge before we get socked in. People don't get their fish. I'll turn you on, we'll need it. Uh, turn you on, we'll need you. We'll turn you on, turn that on. Um, one last quick glance. Yep, I dig it. Anti collision lights. <laughs> turn you back off, actually. And we'll tell the ground crew you are indeed, we don't need a pushback or anything. You are indeed ready to, uh, cleared to remove the chops. We'll pause the tunes, and we'll fire up number two. And while it's doing its thing here, we'll get some sounds, jump over here. Um, we want the weather for here, so that two and a half miles, snow, mist, few at 700, good lord. Good thing we're not landing here. Uh, 10 miles, overcast at 33, 7 and 1, 3006, okay. Cool. And the one thing we were going to do is take this, slide it to there, and that's it. So that's all we've got. And then 28, I believe. 28, something like that. We'll throw the gas in there as well. Triple check. 28, yep. And then move this page. menu, FMC, there, there, cool, kind of got to redo that one, because I don't like how close it gets to, I can't see over here, and I, I normally look down to have both of them, there we go, awesome, 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 uh, one last two things, we'll get you going, that's a good start, we'll put on a dead VOR frequency, 10800, slide you in there and start number one it's a good start awesome how have you guys been um like i said i apologize like I, i'd like to try to stream a little more frequently um you know if you guys been around for a while you know it used to be three days a week like like clockwork um i used to get three three solid streams in a week um and then flight training came and flight training came with a force, so I haven't been able to sometimes even get one in a week. So I do apologize because I, I thoroughly do enjoy hanging out with you guys, and I, you know, I say that all the time. But um, you know, hanging out with you guys on my whenevers, whenever I can, uh, I just, I just enjoy it. So I appreciate you guys coming back in, hanging out. It does mean a lot. Let's see, what am I on the hunt for? The charts are here, 
and I just need to see where runway 11 is. It's actually right there, so that's great. We'll go ahead and get everything set up for departure, so we can just taxi to the runway and take off. There, there, sounds great. Turn that off, get you off, go there, there. Southwest likes the left one, so we'll just roll with it. Uh, other than that, I think we're ready to go. We'll turn on the ice uh, system here and taxi light. Still in pain from the tooth that I had pulled last Monday. I left you one. I left you one to come here and hang out. Ow! Oh, you're just far too damn kind, bro. You are too kind. Lord knows I appreciate you. Yo, those photos you sent with um, what was a seventy-eight percent coverage? That was pretty damn dope. That was pretty dope. All right, here we go. We'll see how uh, see how long it takes. The, the timer on here says 49 minutes. I'm not buying it. Um, I think it's going to be be probably 30 34 minutes plus or minus two on either side. We'll take a bet. got drawn out for us and we'll actually have to back taxi because uh, there's at least on the chart yeah and right here there's not another entrance so we do need to back taxi uh yeah about 30 seconds of mostly cloudy and i barely got any pictures <laughs> it was sunny here but you know what's wild is i i just it really didn't you know, bamboozle me. Like I looked up, probably gonna go blind about 10 years sooner. And I was just like, that's it? This is the hype. Um, but yeah, a lot of other places had way more uh, super cool stuff than what I had. All right, we'll swing this, we'll swing Big Bertha back around. I'll throttle back on, clock, move the range, let's boogie shall we? What? There we go. Alright, fish head soup, here we come. Holy angle of attack, my goodness me. Old girl's climbing like a homesick angel. 
and still picking up speed. Look at that. We're like kicking ass and taking names and this thing was still gaining speed. Now we'll fly the flight directors. Thank you, Captain. There we go. This breakout's gonna look lovely. Yeah, you should have got it on an iPhone. Then it would have looked flawless. <laughs> That's where you went wrong. Flaps one. Here comes that breakout. Flaps up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We're literally going to go up and come right back down. 33,000. And we'll do that again. There it is. Awesome. Um, we're through the clouds. Pretty, yeah, we'll be, we'll be all right. Uh, we can get those back off, and everything else looks good. Hear those engines throttle back up. Dang, watch your ears. I, I hope it's not too loud. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, boy. Like, how can you not just enjoy the beauty that Microsoft has. Like, that's just crazy. Dang. Like, they even have, you know, vertical, like, development on the clouds. Like, that's awesome. Oh, my. And over here. Oh, my. God, that's, yeah, that is crazy, uh, we'll take a screenshot of that, screenshot, probably through 10,000 I'd assume at this climb rate, not far off, no lights, there we go, let this bad boy speed up and clean up, uh, yeah, I saw it, uh, the rainbow, it's, <laughs> one second. Yeah, that was, that's crazy, like, it's just crazy. Um, cool. And like I said, we'll just keep an eye on, keep an eye on the weather, um, because with the, having this LDA, uh, we have minimums of 520, so it's not too bad. And this is a straight in approach. Um, the last airport we go to today, has I believe an RNAV only, but it's not straight in, so it'll it'll really suck if we get into some, some crappy weather flying to uh, Petersburg. There's the rainbow. Look at that. Like what? That's wild. That's crazy, dude. Alright. There's 17. Um, 
So our top of climb is here. Where would be... So I have a little bit. So like I said, we literally go up to come back down. Ninety-nine. There we go. Cool. Yeah, V1 was streaming, um, flying that regional jet again. Which, ever since he's been flying it, has really tickled my itch to possibly get it. But then I'm like, oh, I really, I don't know. See how he's doing in that that super super cool little 190 I think yeah 190 oh he's about to land or maybe maybe that's the re yeah that's the replay yeah okay cool uh isn't that what you're I will be flying the 170 and 175 yeah um not the one I'll have the type rating for a 190 because um, it's it's kind of like the Airbus where th you know you fly the 319, you fly 19, 20, 21. So I'll be able to fly the 190. It's just uh, Republic doesn't have 190s. They only have 170 and 175s. So, but yeah, get to fly a little ram horn uh, instead of the traditional yoke. They got a it's like upside down. So they I, they call like pilots would call them ram horns. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I wonder what it'll be like. Actually, before I go down that rabbit hole, you know what's crazy? And I've been battling this problem for years, um, even before I started flying the diamonds. I can't fly an Airbus side stick in the sim with my left hand to save my life. Like, I, I legitimately can't. There's, there's this disconnect in my head that will not allow my left hand to manipulate controls properly. It's a disaster. But in the real airplane, um, when I fly, it's obviously it's a stick, but it's right, you know, it's right between your legs. But I have to fly it with my left hand, and I fly it, you know, I don't want to say flawlessly. I fly it damn well. Um, so I've tried numerous different ways, but I can't fly the Airbus side stick with my left hand. Like I would love to have it on the left side of my desk just for space, but I can't. Like there's something about my left hand and flaring and all that won't work it, it just goes it goes stupid <laughs> like, i'm like all right let's go airplane let's let's get ready to land and like the, the connection from left hand to controls it just goes dad i don't know can't do it um let me see real quick because we only have i don't know 40 miles roughly from cruise, yeah, 40 miles roughly, 45, from cruise to top of drop. So we'll get this stuff set up. He said I can't do it. I don't know why. Like, excuse me, but I know I know tons of people who are just like, you know, no problem. Like they pick it up like, like I almost question if they're ambidextrous. Um, like, can you write that good? Because I sure as hell can. Like, then again, my left hand is not good for really anything. Uh, what up, boss? Uh, did I recall correctly that your wife is a travel planner? Wife and I are about to book a summer vacation. Oh, she can abs get a hold of me in Discord. Yes, she owns her own travel company. Um, she owns yes, she owns her own travel company. She would be happy to help you. Um, just get a hold of me in Discord, and I will pass along your information right across the room to her. Like I'll put it right on her desk. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'd have, to, <laughs> I'd have to sit right seat in the Airbus too. Like, when they're like, you want to be a captain? I can't. Why not? I, don't ask questions. Just know I can. It's not possible. Um, LDA. So, 108, 10890. Play hockey left-handed, baseball right-handed. So, you're pretty ambidextrous. Not me. It's, it's right-hand or nothing. Like, I mean, I could pick up a box with my right hand, with my left hand, because my <laughs> my right hand's helping me uh, I could type with my left fingers but that's really about where the buck stops um, yeah I, I can't do it 
for some reason that that left hand is just borderline useless borderline useless and over here we'll put one one six uh, six we got our brakes two take another quick look at the weather still should be good yes 10 miles still overcast 3300 that's what I like to see um, pin that and this runway is a whopping 7200 feet we've got plenty 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 Yeah, I'd, I'd literally be a right sea captain. <laughs> I'd have to tell that first officer, look, I'm still the captain, but you gotta sit in, in the left seat. Like, yeah, just take it. You'll, I'll just bet, look, you'll love it. You'll love it. If there's nothing more to it than, I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. You'll love it. <laughs> you got it. Turbulence up here, look at that. So check this out. I want to fly back to this airport. Um, there's really nothing overly challenging about it, Barrow, but it's the most northern city in the United States. And it's, it only, in, in summer, it gets, what is it, three hours, three hour, or, it's not three months of sunlight. And in the winter, it's three months of darkness. Um, so they call it the, what is it the midnight the midnight light or something like that because it'll be literally three in the morning and it's pitch light outside or it could be three in the afternoon and dark is all sit um yeah there's really nothing about it but then in the in the transition times like you might only get an hour of you know sunlight like where it's nighttime so it'd be cool to try to catch it like you take off and it's you know daytime maybe down here in Fairbanks or Anchorage or something and it's just completely dark or it might be light here or dark here light there I don't know can I juggle I can actually ain't that something I could juggle yeah only three things I can't do like four or five but um yeah my my twins love watching me juggle stuff but it can't be like something crazy like I can't juggle bowling pins I could juggle an orange or a baseball or you know something like that places to live or just rock no that's just rock i was gonna say no way no way somebody would want to live there but then again that uh that show like i was saying earlier that show alaskan bush people i don't know how they live like that i could could anybody here in chat live like the in the in the bush or whatever you want to call it Norway has a few months out of the year where it's 24-7 daylight. Nah, see, I couldn't do that. Like, people were like, oh, I could do it if I had some pitch black shades or something. But nah, I, I, I know for a fact I couldn't do it. Like, no matter what, like, you know, you go to eat dinner, it's bright as sin out. Like, oh, let me take the trash out. You know, 9 o'clock, it's bright as sin out. Like, nah, I would need, I would need some sort of darkness. Like, even in, even if I went to bed, <laughs> went to bed and I woke up to go to the bathroom it's like hmm, okay <laughs> I should have I should have rephrased that could you live off the land in the bush nah I don't I don't do that neither no siri Bob 
<laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, let's see. Where are we going after this? Is the question. Um, I believe it's up to or down to one of the two. Catch a can. So we'll swap this, and it's P A K T. Is it Sintai? Zero zero four five. Right. Yeah, zero zero four five. So then we should make it something like zero one four five. That should give us time to land and make this flight plan work. So GSX won't say you are too late for your your scheduled flight. Try another time. No, you try another time. You couldn't either? Nah, I can't do it. Like, no. Nope. I could do it maybe for a day or two. That's about it. Since I work overnight, I have your room dug. But I had it that way forever because the flash of the lighting would wake me up. See, I'm a hard sleeper. Um, well, actually, I swear to God that I am, um, what's the word? Um, there's a word for it. I have insomnia. Like, I don't sleep. I, I, I really don't. And it's not like, oh, let me just stay up. And it, like, I can't sleep. Um, like, for me, what was it? Last month, my watch said I averaged, like, three and a half hours of sleep every night. Um, and I'm not tired. Like, that's the thing. Like, you're like, oh, you must be dog tight. No, I'm really not. Um, so, what was that? Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. Like for me, I don't have a, I have a hard time going to sleep. When I fall asleep, that's when it's game over. Like there's, it's, it's just, there's not much waking me up. Like I could probably sleep through a, like a hurricane, a tornado. I definitely sleep through the kids, um, like to the point where I continuously get yelled at for it. But I just can't help it. You know the feel, yeah, like, I'm not tired, like, I'm never doing anything, you know, like, oh man, I'm so just drained or anything. Um, <laughs> he said, what in your line of work, that doesn't exist, no, I don't even know what you're talking about. And I probably should delete this stream after the fact, because I just said that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just, I'm not ever, I, I work fine off of, of a little bit of sleep. <laughs> but in your line of work, that doesn't exist. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, here's our top of drop. I told you this wasn't going to be no 40 minute flight. I knew that off the jump. And I think this is our one of our longest flights. Um, let's see what this next one is. I'll generate it here. This one is 37 minutes, so we're probably looking at about 29. I'll take it. All right, down we go. People about to get their fish head suit tonight, baby, sir. I would love to change days from 24 to like 30 or 36. That would be nice. Then I probably would be tired. Like over the course, yeah, over the course of 36 hours, I'm sure I would, I would definitely need my eight hours or whatever the, the regular is. Yeah, I would, I wouldn't be mad about that. Not mad at all. Yep. Uh, yeah, I wonder why. Like, whoever made the days of the week, right? Like way back when they were sitting around the log cabin. And they said we're gonna have seven 
why? Like, why not four? Why not six? Why not nine? Eight? Why seven? Like, like why? Like after Saturday, Sunday, you could have made like I don't even know what a good name would be. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's why. Maybe they just ran out, ran out of creative ideas to name a day. trying to look around the room like what would sound good on day like not phone day uh box day no he said shit show Galileo was drinking with his buddies <laughs> drinking with his buddies that's pretty much what it is like hmm. maybe like girl day yeah could have called it like girl day for like there's a Sunday so might as well make it a, a daughter day there you go As I, as I say, I don't really get tired, I start yawning. But. Uh, what is the weather going to look like? Catch a Zero, uh, 14 gusting 19, 10 miles scattered at 36, broken at 45. I like it. I like it. I mean, we should be doing good. Yes, payday. That's what they should have called it. Or uh, shilling day. Yes, back in the day, like when they were made there, take your three shillings and go buy yourself some cattle. They should have called it shilling day. That's what they should call it. Plenty of patches where we'll probably just duck through. Um, so I'm gonna say we don't need it. We got 125, we'll put that over here. Oops. Click that here. Move this to the active. And other than that, we're all set and ready to go. Um, there's one thing I would like to take a gander at. We have a Bazzi. We have a real, so blinking lights at the end of the runway, and our glide slope indicator uh, is on the left hand side, so that's really all I care about. Oh, actually. y'all have for dinner i had a damn good dinner made by yours truly but i'll hear what what uh, you had for dinner first then i'll spill beans <clears throat> do you tell the kids when you're sleeping to go ask their mother actually i don't have that problem because when i'm sleeping one i don't hear them and two they just don't bother me like None of my kids will ever say or never bother me. Like, they always go to uh, their mom. Like, I mean, it might be like when they come out of their room, like, they'll walk in and be like, hi. Like, the twins, they'll, they'll run in and be like, hi, daddy. Um, but other than that, no, anytime. <laughs> like, and I feel bad. Like, I do wish, like, so she can sleep or whatever. Like, I wish they would bother me sometimes. But, no, they don't ever bother me. Cheese puffs and brats. Okay, there you go. I had, so I had a, a chuck roast that I put in the crock pot. Um, and we made... Berea tacos, I think is the word I'm looking for. And you dip the shell in the sauce of the meat. Kind of light fry them up. Put on this... Oaxaco, I think you call it. I don't know. Some, some sort of Hispanic cheese. Fry them up. 
use the sauce from the meat as a, as a uh, dipping. Oh, they were so good. They were good. I let them suckers, or that meat, sit in that crock pot for like, oh boy, probably close to five hours. Back in uh, X-Plane, I used to love flying to Sitka, I think it was, one of the two, Sitka, Ketchikan, uh, because the cruise port, and one thing that I continuously bark about, only because I'm probably the 1% who has such a love for it, um, is that the cruise ships in X-Plane were so much better than the cruise ships in, uh, in, that are in Microsoft, but there's a cruise ship harbor that when you land at Sitka, you'd always see a huge Royal Caribbean. Uh, or a uh, Norwegian cruise line that would be like the cruise ship library. They'd have like a bunch of Norwegian and Royal Caribbean ones where these are just these horrible, whatever you want to call them, ocean liners. It, uh, I wonder if they have like a harbor add on or something. Probably not. No. slow down probably at in a thousand feet it'll start to slow down. it'll start slowing down so we'll get these lights on we got the wing light on uh, we'll go here and here no visible moisture so we'll keep the anti-ice off uh, we got our minimum set remember our new altimeter uh, is check that zero six so we'll pop in zero six right there and we are ready to the tunes for now. Um, cool. And what I will do is I'll I'll save the I'll record these and save them. Um, and I'll make like a montage of them. That you know one day in stream we'll just sit here and watch like a bunch of landings.
Uh, Cherry Mango Popsicle. Ooh. Nah. Popsicles are damn near, like, they're almost forbidden in my house. Like, the way that me, Skylar, the twins, like, the way that we house popsicles, it's kind of sickening. Like, <laughs> it, it really is. Like, so I'm just like, damn, I can't keep spending, you know, whatever the price is for popsicles that they just legitimately disappear. Like, they get bought and then now, like, they're gone. There, we'll start working that speed back. And uh, per the chart, per the chart, 3,600. Hit this at. And yeah, we won't need any anti ice. We'll duck right, probably like right through this little needle here. It's kind of where we'll thread the gap. So I'm not worried about any freezing anything. Not on bat sim, so I don't need to make any calls because there was nobody on. Yeah, there's nobody on. So I was like, meh, no need to run a program for, you know, nothing to be there. But we can run the fly by wire installer, or the FSLTL from fly, fly by wire app. See if it'll put any new airplanes in there. Uh, there's one, 737. On the approach, we got the lights. I'll press approach mode as well. So we should get there. It is. We at least got a gold deer. Oh no, it's gonna kill us. Okay. Got us back on glide path. I'll take it. Now just slow me down, please. Oh, in one second. Oh. All right. Go. Bam. The flaps five. Put these back in and arm them. So we should get uh, the localizer frequency here in a moment. Look at that rainbow. It's followed us the whole way. Bang on, too. Look at that. Making the turn like 20 feet high or so. Heck yeah. Um, go around is... to 600 right turn to 5500 all right and then go to the VOR pretty much uh, and it's 5500 there it is ghost what's up man how are you welcome welcome just in time landing number one uh, we're headed into we're going uh, Sitka and we've had this rainbow that has followed us the entire way uh, ever since we took off we saw this rainbow so I'm thinking we ditch the next couple of flights and go see if there's a pot of gold come the end of that rainbow let's go flaps to 15 slow us down to 165 great oh okay okay I like to hear that care to tell why tell me more I mean, could just be here on on this side of the dirt, but no, that's awesome, dude. That's not something you hear uh, 
a lot. Like, people, oh, I'm good, thanks, and you, like, but to hear an act, you know, an actual, I'm great. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. Uh, 160 should do us good. 125 is awfully slow, so we'll probably hit, you know, 1500 and then start. I had a busy day. We'll be busier. Uh, we'll be busy. Be busy the rest of the week. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Well, I guess. If you like busy days. But, no, that's great. Glad to hear it. Hopefully, uh, you can hang out with us for just a little bit. Relax, unwind. All that good stuff. Oh, okay. Nice. Been watching it live. Cool. Awesome, awesome. One day, a lot more to go. You got it. You got it. And we'll start working that speed back to... Through 1500, we'll go 125, our final approach fee. Cool. And we'll get our lights, run the checklist. Landing gear is down, three green. Flaps are 30 on the honeycomb, 30 in the window with the green light. Spoilers are armed. Lights are set, and go round altitude is checked. Got a little quartering crosswind here from the right. Not a worry. My airplane. One thousand. Stable. Or no, sorry, configured. This definitely has its offset, so I'm going to start working my way back to the center of the runway. And there goes that Alaska. Remember when I said I was going to turn on FSLTO? I said, oh, there's an Alaska plane that's here with us. Well, there he is, uh, taking off. You might be able to see him on YouTube. I don't know. But either way, we're looking great. Approaching minimums. A little high correcting, a little fast correcting. Approaching decision height. 500 stable. Minimums. Runway in sight landing. Four hundred. High. Let's keep that nose coming down. We'll pull some power. We're now we're fast. Two hundred. One hundred. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Airspeed low. That was weird. That was really weird. Like, we just died coming off the water. Uh, that was really weird. It was kind of cool. There. Okay. How have I been? Dude, I've been busy. I've been good. I, I really can't complain. Um, not at all. Okay, so let's let's take a minute and dissect that one because we were fast and then all of a sudden as soon as we came off the water like all of our speed just died like I was like huh and then we got the airspeed low I was like uh-oh yeah 180 man we could have been we could have done way better but if you heard it I put some more power back into the you know back into the throttles um, <laughs> only because I was like, this is going to hurt. So I was trying to like arrest the descent so we didn't like break the fish head. So <laughs> you're carrying boxes. You could have been harder than that. I really could have. I should have. I should have just said, you know what? 
there's only frozen fish in here. Forty-two minutes that flight took, so I knew it was quicker than what Simbri was saying. There we go. And come here, clean it up. Stop the clock, get the APU going. We'll save this replay. Uh, where is this? PASI 737. There we go. Save that one. And we'll find us a little spot to park. Parking ramp cargo. Nope. Now, truth be told, I have no idea where this cargo ramp is, so um, I'm kind of just hunting for some GSX equipment. Let's see, maybe it'll terminal. That's terminal apron. Definitely not down there, so it's got to be in this this general area, I would think. I'd have never guessed. I'd have never thunk. Follow this line in right here. supposed to come in this way. My fault. You know what? To fix that, uh, we'll just uh, there. <laughs> there, and it even says Alaska Air Cargo. My god. Alright. Uh, we have that. We'll let the boxes up and we'll shut oh, them down. Cool. And we'll get right to the deboarding. Deboarding requested. Well, 
lovely. So we have everything there, and lastly, there. There. No harm, no foul, right? Cool. We got two pallets to offload. Oops. Um, and then we'll get ready for our next flight. Sure is. Uh, off there. Crew to boarding starting. I would like a few. And then there. So hopefully, as soon as it gets done, it should just start. Wrong side, my guy. You working tonight? How are you? Hopefully, all is well. All right. Uh, cool. Well, it does that. We'll make sure that this flight plan is still ready to go, which it is lovely. Um, cool. So, look at that. Oh, beachcraft. Uh, we'll jump over to this. Get a new flight. Uh, 183 miles. So, if it sends us to the stars again, that's just stupid. Um, Twenty-five. Okay, I was gonna say, don't you dare send me to like thirty some odd thousand feet. Um, index, ident. Here we are at what? T A S I. Uh, both streaming Alaska cargo in Alaska. Uh, today is day one. Nice. Oh, he's okay. Cool. Yeah, I didn't even know. I didn't even know P A S I is where we are. And then to P A K T is where we're off to. We'll offload this fish head suit. We'll unload what? What do you think is big up here? Uh, we got fish head and gunpowder. What do you think they make here? This thing is a big old port over there. We'll say they got fish hooks and boat engines. That's what we're taking. Fish heads, boat engines. Um, go here. Select the payload and select the route. The truck will come and fill up the plane itself. A departure. Take a gander. We've got this one off there. Uh, and then we're landing on 1 1. Man, there's a bunch of 1s all around here. One, 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 one. Like, it's our fourth one that we've had uh, here. Unload. Import. Let's go. And see what they've got cooking for us. We've got a localizer, or a couple ILSs, and uh, an RDAV. Ah, yes, we're coming from this direction, so this is perfect. The, R the localizer, or the ILS localizer Zulu uh, from AN is what we want. So we'll go here, and it's probably going to have to redo that. Boarding requested. Yes. Cool, so there goes our fish heads and gunpowder. Take boat engines and fish hooks. Is on its way. Why don't load aircraft until the fuel truck arrives and ask to do it? Like you have, you literally have to come back here in 30 seconds. So why leave? There, uh, back to it, and then we take the Zulu ILS Zulu from Anne take that to the route, we'll activate and execute it, uh, go to legs, and from here to and perfect. It should fuel truck is in position. Please don't load right. aircraft until south. the fuel truck arrives yeah. and ask to do it. Yes, we are south east ish, yeah. 
right? Yeah, southeast. That way. Um, cool. Well, you are awfully close to whacking my airplane. Wonderful. Uh, well, it's doing this. I'm just going to go grab a glass of water and we'll get this puppy ready to be fully turned and gone out of here. So give me like, I don't know, 45 seconds. I'll be right back. Setting plan field, why did you not? Uh, what is the plan field? Let me see. Sim brief. Uh, plan fuel is 13,000 pounds. One, if you round it up, there it is. Be happy now, buddy. There, got everything we need. Jump down to this and request, please. Legs. We can request the wings. See if it'll take it. Twenty-nine. No. Twenty-five. Two. Five. Zero. There it is. Um, other than that. matches and 33 cool that matches this up here can get changed to 20 five six there's five stays at zero lovely um, jump over there jump back to the tablet get some performance numbers here nate what's going on big boss are you back home or are you still out west if you're back home how was it if you're still out west how is it Flaps one, another TO2, and another 59. Uh, it should give us like 82, yep. And no flaps. One, yep. Goodness. My man, Kenne, how you living, bro? How is life treating you? Hopefully all is well. Uh, reset, please, thank you. And we should be loading the engine. Ah, yes, see, look, there, I told you, uh, we have boat engines and 
officials. So that's what we're hauling today. We brought in uh, main kit and we were simulating, obviously. We brought in gunpowder and uh, what was it? Gunpowder and frozen fish to here, which I don't know why they would want frozen fish when they live right on the water. But here it is. Um, and now we're taking out boat engines and fish hooks and we're going up to catch a fish. Back home was good. Moving out there this year, can't wait. Nice. So you'll you'll finish high school out there then, yeah? Because you're a junior. junior yeah. Man, are you ready for that heat? Like that heat's different. Like I I, I could personally never live there. Never in my wildest dreams. Um, I would turn into a bottle of coke just splattered all over the parking lot. Like, that's what I would look like. Senior? Okay. Finishing game. Even better. So then you'll move out there, start up right at Set College, and get right to it. That is what I love to hear. To here. Now, are you one of those super smart cookies that is graduating early, or are you just like a true senior? attached to this thing, so we probably should take a look at it. Uh, love it. Uh, going off of one one, yeah. So one one. Why oh, hate this? Uh, that way. So we go towards that way. Yeah. Right. Yes. So we're going to go this way until we hit 3,800 feet, and then we turn to 223, and then to the VOR, and then they're like, kick rocks, bud. Just a normal dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just a normal dude. I put my pants on the same way as you do, one leg at a time. Because I thought maybe you were one of those smart ones who uh, graduated a year early and can somehow put pants on two legs at one time. But, hell, you could be a normal guy that still knows how to put his pants on two legs at a time. There. So get everything ready. Um, 3,800, let's just put in a whopping around about 10,000. 116 is the heading for the runway, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, it's just straight, it's a climbing right turn to 223 to intercept the PKA VOR on the 358 radio. So 223. Got your new monitor hooked up? What is it? Uh, what is the monitor? And that's awesome. Let's say we need some air going, but it's cold as hell outside, probably. Um, yeah, what'd you get? Let me set these. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but we'll do it to be sure. Excuse me. And then go here, and we'll go there. Um, last, hopefully one of the last times using the chart for a minute, but the DK 113.8, one, one, we'll pop in with one right here, 113.8, one, one, if we bang an engine we'll come right back in on that LBA approach, there it is. If 
five feet. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Hey, hey. You're going the wrong way. Def, what's up, man? How are you? Happy, what's today? Uh, Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Hopefully all is well. Why did you not close it? Uh, oh. Remove. Doors. Close, close. Departure Doors. checks completed. Bypass pin insert. I am living the dream, big boss. We are en route up to catch a can. We have boat engines and fish hooks on board. We're going to go deliver some important cargo to some sketchy destinations. Picked up the uh, cool, cool. I didn't know how to say it. Uh, 20 minutes monitor, 100. Ooh, nice. Uh, it was a journey to get it. I bet. And that's awesome. That is awesome. Doing good, man. I'm doing just fine. Appreciate you asking. Cannot complain. UPS decided not to drop it off at your door. Oh, Lord. Oh, boy. USPS. What crooks. Uh, we'll go ahead and start dishing in some lights here. Overhead is now complete. We'll pause the music. And we look phenomenal. Awesome. That's what I like to see. Why is the damn door not closing? Close, fool. See, look at this. It wants to not close and then take its sweet old time to close. Uh, plus seven? Yeah. So remind me, please, uh, when we go to line up for the departure, remind me to turn the anti-ice on. Uh, visible moisture below 10. Thank you. Because if we don't, eh, ain't nothing gonna happen, but we'll be compromised. So, you know, somebody could dis deci decide to, uh, unsubscribe because the immersion level has been busted. Like, I'd hate for that. Uh, locking gear, thank you. Thing ready to go. Um, we can slide this little chart over here. Taxi will push back nose to the left, and runway 11 is right there. So we've got everything we need. Nose to the left. Thank you. Release parking brakes, please. Aye, aye, Captain. Oops. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Thanks. Freeze our bungalows off real quick again. And we're rolling. Lovely. So let's hit it, baby. Oh, our new speed is 112, so even lower. Good lord. 112. Good, good. It's there. Add it. At the boot. At the boot. Good thing we're getting out of here. This weather's starting to suck. Um, what is it now? What is it showing? Two and a half mile visibility with rain broken at 2400, overcast at 3300, 3007. That is 13 minutes old. Oh, great. Uh, in Ketchikan, it's marginal VFR. Four miles visibility with rain scattered at 26, broken at 36, uh, broken at 7000, temperature 7, dew point 4. Ha! So it's about the same. Getting worse. Because it was VFR, so we're screwed, guys. That means this this last approach. I don't know. Please set parking brakes. Unlocking gear. <laughs> because if you remember the first time we flew here, the weather sucked, and I om almost not. I did. I did not. Truth be told, I did not uh, slam us into a mountain, but we couldn't see a gosh darn thing. 
and I was certain. Like, we were just going to wind up, you know, in a mountain. But we didn't, and hopefully we can beat the weather and try to get in for this last approach. So we got to really turn and burn now. Um, we'll go flaps one. Seventeen point eight. It should kick over. Close enough. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. Uh -oh. Left is clear. Right is clear. We'll switch it to the right this time. Flaps are out. We're not going to need it as soon as we punch through these clouds, but for now we do. Um, cool. Where's the guy? Have a good trip. Where are you? There you are. You're out of here. So are we. Seatbelt sign on for the boxes, tell them to sit out. Get our lights going like so. One sixteen, that looks good to me. Now one seventeen, good enough. Make sure they are indeed stable. Yep, you look good. You're handsome. Punch it, Jenny. Oh, you guys didn't remind me. Uh, oh, they're on. Never mind. Eighty knots. V one, V two. Okay, that's just so cool. Little city down there, start the turn. Get up on those bars.
what's up. Hold on, guys. There's the breakout. Autopilot on. Oh, God bless you. Yeah. And ah, cool. There it is. We'll go off, off. That's what we're on the hunt for. There's the breakout. There, we'll get our lights off. There. Cool. One, seven, eight. There it is. Lovely. Get our tunes back on as well here. America. Uh, wrong ones. So they were never off. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. I just literally saw like an E and on on a switch. I was like, okay. And then they're on. So yeah. Whoopsies. miles out, maybe closer to a hundred. Not bad. Not bad at all. Thousand ago. We'll set this over to one zero three. Why aren't I on Batsim? Um, I I didn't see anybody on, so I just didn't stay on. But if somebody gets on, I have no zero issue of being on. Um, yeah, there just wasn't any service on, so I was like, eh, you know, why why uh, have a program running that you know, I don't really need when there's no services to be provided. Fires, what's up, man? How are you? Hopefully all is well, sir. Uh, let's see. There, let me grab the new playlist here. 
Ooh, excuse me. Playlist, please. There it is. Uh, what's this one? Sure. Cool. That's working. Connect. All right. I'll have to, let me pre-file and hold on. So that way I don't get on here and some supervisors watching some dead airspace like uh sir you don't have anything pre-filed alaska 9903 is what i've got us as the pilot turn it on there we go uh when you do the replay and get it locked in the position you can unlock it put it down onto the plane and relock it uh, won't mess it up. Really? Huh. Okay. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Micah, how are you, sir? Welcome, welcome. Happy Tuesday. Hopefully all is well for you. Life is not treating you too rough, right? Let's see. V-Pilot, turn on, please. There it is. And what did I say we were? Alaska, 9903. How are you, Mr. Micah Messer? Hopefully, like I said, hopefully all is well. Life is doing you well. Uh, I think. I think you did. I, I can't remember. But ASA 9903 in A. What are we at? 737-700. There it is. There we go. Pretty chill. That's what I like to hear. It's the way life should be, right? It's the way it should be. Hardly ever is, but lovely when it does get to be that way um, so we have 80 miles which is not that long truthfully uh, so we'll just get everything set up real quick um, final approach course is 115 we'll set that in like so 109.3 uh, we have a minimum descent of 292 uh, here. Oops, here, there we go. 292. Two Work is comp. Nice. Studying for certificate, like uh, aviation certifications or like um, more of like, uh, crap, career, like career oriented certifications. Nonetheless, Nice. Two, nine, two is set. Uh, auto brakes two should do the trick unless this is some ungodly short runway. Uh, 7,500 feet. Auto brakes two is more than enough. Um, 115, we'll switch that there. And check what speed it's going to give. Oh my goodness. No, I'm not doing 111. Because we almost ran out of speed at 125, so we'll put like one. We'll do 125 again. Because when I landed at 125, it was airspeed low. Airspeed low. So 111, that's like. No, nah, I don't trust it. I, just, I don't trust it. I'm sure it's right. I don't trust it. Network, holy cow. Network engineering. Very important stuff. So Warden makes this, like this stuff, that is basically like the filling of a cheesecake. Like, you know, you eat it obviously a cheesecake. Um, it's like that filling, and then she puts strawberries and chocolate chips in it. But somehow or other, this oh so yummy, whatever this concoction is, has no sugar. In it. Like it's a, it's legitimately a healthy snack. So I'm enjoying it. Like, it, it literally tastes delicious, and I probably got some on my face. Um, but it's like, it's not bad for you, except for the little bit of chocolate chips, but that's all right. Nostalgia, right? Nostalgia. Um, take another gander at the weather. 
was marginal via fodder. Still is. This should flip here uh, before we land, so we'll double check it. But that's what it's showing. Uh, the tab is current. The next one. Zero one part. 10 a.m. Zulu. What is it now? Um, not, I think it's like zero two something Zulu. Uh, zero 0150, so we're not in that one yet. Uh, the current one, yeah, we'll be alright. We'll be alright. And we'll make sure that we are on the network, which we indeed are. We'll jump on 22.8 for now. We'll get in the CTAF for this place. Center 23.6. Or not Anchorage, uh, catch a cat. 23.6. Then lastly, definitely not least, we'll take you, we'll drag you right there. Drop you in for a 10 mile ring. Thank you. We are done. Uh, legs. No, there. There. Cool. Fires. For that um, new DCS map, did you? Did you pre-order anything for it? Because I figured if I knew somebody who would, it would be you. Did you pre-order it? Oh. Technically, we could have climbed up, but... We'll do it. It won't take this little light thing that much. Yeah, so it won't take as long. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, 5,000 feet a minute. Good lord. Y'all see uh, this? Here's new previews for LA update focusing on performance. Okay, like Lord knows they need it. Uh, a lot of night, blah, 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 yeah, yeah. yada yada yada. Uh, you know, Facebook a few moments ago to share a brand new sneak peek for their upcoming update. Uh, this update will bring the product in line with the changes that have been made in the real world, focusing on improving. Lovely. Yes, and then I did see this one, which absolutely looks really good. Uh, which I don't know why they focus more on the airplane strut than the airport. But your guess is as good as mine. And then uh, Cartagena, which I think we did just fly into there, I think. Uh, the near National Airport, yeah, we did. Yeah, let's check that out again. Let's see if we can see that traffic. Oh, not a chance. He is 2,500 feet below us, just off of our nose.
I, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea where that joke is. And he's gone. How are you? You can have it. Why? Well, it's kind of hard because it keeps getting on my face. So I sit here and stream on YouTube with white stuff on my face. So, if you want it, you can have it. Ah, there you go. Oh, Callie. Uh, now you can really have it. But this is healthy, you said. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. Did you see this on FS Elite? Right here. Did you see that? Any build shares the new previews for focusing LA Pro focusing on performance? Yes. Yes. So hopefully that'll make LA flyable. I actually can't fly into New York. Period. I can't fly into LaGuardia. I can't fly into JFK. And I can't fly into uh, Newark. Every time I do, I get the short final and my sim dies. So I've given up. to hit and at 5,000. Well, we could probably hit it above 5 because we have 26 to run until this is 5,000. Uh, just got home. Yes, finally fly back into <laughs> I know. Like, that, we, we've been saying it for the longest time. Like, they make one of the most popular airports in the world one of the most hardest ones to fly into. Um, but yeah, LA, or sorry, JFK, I gave up. I gave up flying into the New York area after today. Uh, 5,000. We've got a little bit to run, about 20 miles, but with my history, um, I guarantee you I'd get to talking about something and I'd blow right past it. been getting worse uh, over the course of time so I want to see what the latest one is Everything set up for this. Um, just waiting for hope, hopefully a new weather update. Speeds are in, auto brakes are set. Um, everything we need, all the way down to the CTAF frequency, is program check, double check. So we're looking pretty good. Um, yeah. This is a dessert. So Warden makes like it's. Basically, this this stuff is like the filling that you would have on cheesecake, but it's it's healthy. I don't know how she does it. How do you make this? How do you make this? Give me a ballpark. Heavy whipping cream. box of sugar-free cheesecake pudding mix. 
two, two tablespoons of cream cheese. Blend it so it's nice and fluffy. And then you add in what you want. There it is. So yeah, not bad at all. What? Oh, that's right. You don't like cheesecake. Crazy. Screenshots? Yes. Let me take a gander here. Where we? I gotta find it. Thanks. There. Uh, here. Community. Where is it? Where is it? Sim pictures. There they are. <coughs> uh, flew the C17. There you go. With an FM. With the FMC update. Okay. Yeah, C17 is such a nice looking airplane. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hello, hello. Absolutely gorgeous. Where'd you fly to and from? My guess is Charleston, somewhere back to Charleston. If I had to be a betting man, that would be my guess. Charleston, fly around, back to Charleston. Get rid of this one. Play this 200. Uh, I might be doing flight school when you move to Colorado Springs, but I may have to get a loan. I, I had to get a loan, but that's awesome. That is awesome, dude. When do you, uh, when do you think you'll move? Hopefully, hopefully sooner than later, so you can get to, uh, get to flying, man. That's awesome. August, nice, awesome, dude. That is awesome. Now, is it? Are you like moving? I don't want to say local, but like, do you live in the Colorado area or in Colorado, or are you moving like far? Like, dad's retired from the military. Well, that's awesome. Uh, tell him we from the oatmeal community thank him for his service. But are yeah, are you like from Colorado area, or are you? moving from say I don't know like Virginia or you know the state of Washington to Colorado <coughs> all right get rid of that um, one last gander at the weather uh, yes there was one ten minutes ago um, and it's I think it's even better yeah VFR conditions 10 miles scattered 33 broken at 46 broken at 7 perfect uh, three zero two zero Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I don't know why it would do this. Like, it takes us through the, the approach, right? Like, essentially it's taking us like that when you could just be smart kind of go like that. But then again, what, what do I know? Okay, like, see? Like, it's going to basically take us like that when in all reality you could just break off that way. Or, I could do that. Right? So we'll kind of go that way. Moving from Nebraska to Colorado. Okay, so I mean, it's 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 a move. Like, there's no no doubt about it. But it's at least you're not moving from you know like New York or something. Like, you're not moving like full bore across the country. But are you excited uh, to be moving? And may I ask, like, obviously, you know, you don't have to say a word, but why Colorado Springs? Like, I've never heard somebody say, you know, when I grow up, I want to move to Colorado Springs. 
but what like what is the uh, what is the significance of Colorado Springs if you don't mind my asking <clears throat> What's up, boss? How are you? Hey, I saw you flying up here earlier on the Microsoft map. Uh, like, when I loaded in to start the stream, I saw um, I saw you in the Alaska region. Where were you flying to and from, if you don't mind my asking? My favorite trainer pilot. Well, I appreciate that, man. That, that does mean a lot. Um, in the coming days here, um, we're going to have to do another one of those lovely oral check ride things like we'll do another you know longer ish long enough flight where we kind of go over some some IFR stuff again because I'll have my end of course uh, I'll have my end of course coming up here and then my actual IFR check ride so we'll have to uh, we'll have to brush up on that stuff uh, he moved from oh spotter what's up man how are you saw this uh, clip yesterday ended up flying to the northeast from Ma up to northeast from Ma and the guy who flew me and my dad used to live and fly out of the same airport you live near now small world ain't it like big world that we live in small world for the aviation community um, in northeast Vermont I know you were talking about it yesterday but I've heard so many different numbers how much coverage did you have uh, for or, uh, uh, your, where you were at. Kenny Black, what's up, my guy? How are you? Is the 737-600 worth it? Absolutely. <clears throat> the only reason I say that, actually, well, I say that I'll pause the tunes. It is 100% worth it. One, it's no different system-wise than the airplanes that you pay 65 or whatever the price is for, right? The 800, 700. Uh, so you get the same level of detail. That plane is an absolute pocket rocket. Um, meaning you can take off and easily, easily hit five, five, five hundred or five thousand five hundred uh, feet per minute in the climb and still be gaining speed. Like that thing moves. Um, it's got a good range to it. So you can land on short fields. You can land on lo obviously long runways. You can land in high terrain. Um, it's a fun airplane to fly. And then you could be like, oh, okay, maybe I didn't want to spend the full, you know, the full whatever it is on the other airplanes. It's a good stepping stone. 35 bucks, I think it is. 30, 35 bucks. Um, you'll find out if you like it. And I'm willing to bet you will like it. And on FSTO, there's a lot of liveries. Uh, so you'll, you'll be, you'll enjoy it. There we go. And we'll start this because we got to slow down to 210. Music, yes, music. Insert. Look at that vector. Oof. Uh, hold on, let me make a traffic call. Where are we going? Catch, catch can traffic. Alaska 9903, 7200, descending 5000. We'll be doing the ILS Zulu for 1 1. We'll call established. Catch can. Uh, uh, who's doing. Okay, uh, Juno to Seattle. Gotcha. Nice. How was it? If, you ha if you've already landed, how was it? Uh, I remember this route when we did this like four months ago. Yes, yes. We the only one that we switched was where we took off from. Uh, so catch can traffic. Back to sixty two lining up runway one one parting on catch can six departure to the south. Catch can. Wow, there's actually somebody here. I am flabbergasted. Um, good thing I made calls. But yeah, this we flew in here. And remember, <laughs> remember we almost ran into the side of that mountain? Like, couldn't see a darn thing. So, hopefully this time will be better. Hopefully. Uh, I might buy it on the marketplace so I can get it on the council too. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, just keep in mind, right, like, if you buy on marketplace, it's always the last one to get updated. Um, but 
you know, a lot of times that's some not not I shouldn't say a lot. Sometimes it's like, oh, it might be three days after the computers get it. Some things take a little bit, but just keep that in mind. Um, but now nah, you'll be you'll enjoy it. You'll 100% enjoy it. Turn 31 this year might be a good excuse to get a console. There you go. There it is. That's perfect reason. So that guy's down here somewhere, wherever the airport is. I don't even know. Uh, over there, I'm guessing. Maybe on that side of the mountain. I don't know. Uh, we'll take out the replay. We're not going to watch it, uh, but I will record it. So like I was saying on the first one, at some point when I get good at editing, uh, we'll just have a montage. <laughs> we'll have like a montage of video of, or a montage of recordings that we can watch. Uh, maybe like the end of the year, we'll find all the best ones that we've done and we'll make a little uh, video about it. All right, 5,000. Uh, and we need to be down to Putty at 3,000. So we'll cross this at 5, we'll start the descent down to 3, and we'll start slowing down to 180. Michigan traffic, Alaska 62, clear runway 11, climb through 2,700. Catch again. Catch again traffic, Alaska 9903 uh, is out of, th of 5,000, is setting 3,000 right base run R for the ILS 11. Catch again. Uh, let me say, how are your 30s? I'm scared. To I'm, I'm not even 30 yet, bro. I'm 28, so you're older than I am. I got to ask you that. How How is it? <laughs> I am only 28 years old. Oh, man. How old did you think I was? I mean, some people recommend PS5 and Ace Combat, but yeah, if, you're, if you want to get the simming, then definitely get the Xbox. Um, you'll enjoy that way more. Ace Combat's cool, but it's not as cool as Microsoft. One, 115, there we go. Got you guys. We got 180 setting. Yeah, let's help this thing slow down. And. There. Yeah, a little behind. Localizer is captured. Glide slope is captured. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Replay. Let's make sure we start it so we can save it. It is catch again traffic. Alaska 9903 final ILS Zulu 11 catch again. Flaps to five. There. Arm them. Lovely. Nice little crosswind from the right again. We'll get these on prematurely so we don't forget. Uh, and if we have to go around, which I hope we don't, it is 5,000 feet set. 2,500. Let's just go gear down. Flaps to 15. Slow that speed down to our final of 125. There we go. Be careful on landing. My fish hooks are the... <laughs> The best ones in town. <laughs> I'll, I, plus, I don't want a fish hook in the back of the head. So we're going to put this sucker down nice and smooth. And we got boat engines, too, right? All these little skiffs. How are these people going to catch their frozen lake trout if we uh, bust an engine? So can't have that. Right? Look at this. Oh. We'll have to do a little flight up here sometime. Yes. There's a cruise port over there. Look at that. Coming up through 1700. We got landing checklist. Landing gear is down. Three green flaps. 30 on the honeycomb. 30 in the window with the green light. Spoilers are armed. Lights are set. Go around altitude is set. Landing checklist. We'll call that complete. What? Five buckaroos from my guy, Tyler Rocks. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you earned yourself a little yippee! Thank you, and you dropped the bag, man. You done dropped the bag. Uh, we're taking some salmon on the next leg. Yes, we'll pick up uh, what, what comes out of here. Salmon? We'll have a fresh load of salmon. And what else has to go to uh, Petersburg? <coughs> Alright, here we go. My throttle, my airplane. Last one we got a 181 because we about stalled on the ground. Uh, 
came off the water, hit the la like hit the land portion, and the plane died. So, let's see if we can do better this time. One thousand. Thousand feet stable, or configured. Sorry, thousand feet configured. Fresh. Ah, yes. So this one we're hauling food. We got food in the plane this time. Got crab legs and king salmon. Some Alaskan crab, eh? Fix this up, get back on it, a little high and a little to the left. We gotta come right and down. There we go. Decision pipe. Minimums. Minimum site landing. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Floaty. Wow. <laughs> this plane just was in like slow motion. Everything felt so slow. Uh, 60 knots. Reverse so off. There we go. Step on those brakes. There we go. Stow the reversers. We'll take it down to the end. I don't like landing this slow. Nice land, appreciate it. 105, I'll take it. Uh, did you know I see the eclipse? Um, yes and no. Yes and no. Um, like I went outside, took a, took a gander at it, but in Myrtle it wasn't that good, so I just went back inside. I uh, have a decent amount of credit score. Oh, there you go. Heck yeah. So you should be all right then, yeah? And what I tell people, when you take out a loan for flight school, it's an investment. Uh, consider it an investment. Because when you're a you know major major airline captain and you're making you know four five hundred thousand dollars, right? Was it worth the investment of whatever you paid? My man, pilot depth. Welcome to the lounge, my guy. First class. So you get first dibs on the crab legs, or no, fish hooks. Yeah. You had seventy percent coverage. That's not bad at all. It got cold where you're at. Wow. Clean up the airplane. And we'll get the lights. Oops. A mighty strong beacon light right here. Get the APU going. And we'll turn this off. And we'll turn 10800. Dead frequency. And we'll go to standby. And we'll just let this thing roll down the hill. See how it does. Night. Oh, shit. Man, we can rotate down this hill. Uh, well, I technically do because I have most gifted memberships. Music got loud? Alright, hold on. Do that then. There we go. Uh, where can we park? one I wanted. Good flight. Appreciate it. We got one more. Uh, so don't go anywhere. We got one more flight to do. Uh, it's just as quick. This one was a whopping, we'll say 37, because right, we kind of taxied for a minute or so. 
number two or three. I have no idea, but clearly we're not at the line yet. We'll call it. Good. Ah! Probes off. Uh, we'll get the electrics off. Packs off. Bleeds on. There we go. Why aren't you turning off? <coughs> the boarding requested. What? Flight is geeked out. Uh, I got your discovery flight next year. Nice. Very nice. One more leg. Yeah, we got one more up to, uh, it's called Petersburg. Talked to my friend on the phone this morning. Uh, it got dark a bit during the eclipse yesterday. Oh, that's wicked cool. That's too cool. Um, cool. So let me get the volume mixer. I, I thought I turned them on. Like, I don't know why they, or how they turned back off. Like, I swear I turned them on as soon as I shut down the engines. I don't know. Waiting for me to open the doors. Okay. I can do that. So we'll go to the doors. Uh, open that one. Open that one. Through the boarding starting. Thanks. Go. Um, what do we have? We have a 39 minute flight. Next. And it says it's going to keep us at 16,000 feet. I don't know about that. 16,000 feet, you say. Ah, like that. Like I said earlier, the one thing about X Point is they had a proper cruise ship library, so you'd actually have you know, real cruise ships, not not those. But I, I get it. It's a flight simulator, but hell, any build just put a Formula One car in here, so they can make better cruise ships. But Dad said once we get settled into our house in November, start doing flights for the time, dude. That's awesome. Um, by then, I'll be a CFI. Um, so if you have any questions, you know, you know how to get a hold of me. So, you know, definitely reach out and, uh, you know, I can help you with your private. That'll be, that'll be cool, man. You'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. Um, cool. Let's start getting ready for this last flight here that we got. Too late. Really? What time is it? So it's zero, zero, two, two, four. Uh, edit. Oh, yeah. So we'll put zero two five zero. Apply. There we go. Uh, request refueling. Whenever that comes. Uh, And we'll also do the boarding as well. Cool. And we'll jump back to the tablet because we're going to need this. Boarding requested. And lovely. We can stop this recording. We'll save it. We are at. Uh, Refueling truck is on can. its way. Please don't load aircraft until the fuel truck arrives and ask to do it. Got it. 
game back to chat. Uh, may need your help uh, in your 20. Gotcha. Okay. Nice. Sec, if you're a CFI, can you, uh, fly down and get me. Okay. <laughs> I could do that. When I uh, take a student down, I'll say, hey, we got to swing through whatever airport uh, and go, go see him. Heck yeah. Whoa. <laughs> we didn't have much gas here. Interesting. Um, Fuel truck is in position. Thanks. So let's do. Please don't load aircraft that. until the fuel truck arrives and ask to do it. Index ident. Uh, we were are at P A K T. Like here. Uh, right there. And we're going P. Oops. P A G. I believe. Oh yeah, oof. Dang, look at that, they got a 100%. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, we're heavy on this one. Uh, select the route. And it didn't want to take the gas. Okay, so we'll just go return fuel sim brief. Uh, on the sim brief is we need a fuel of 10,000 so 10.0 oops there um, the math is probably what I'll have problems with nah it's not bad um, it's literally times three um, so take the altitude like right if you want to figure out when you should descend um, Take the altitude you're at, the altitude you need to be at, uh, the result. So, right, we'll say, as an example, if we're at 10,000, we want to get down to three, uh, 2,000, right? The answer, or the answer between is what? Six? Yeah, six. Times that by three. So, to descend at 1,000 feet per minute, you want to descend about six miles out. Now, give yourself a mile or two or three um, for setting up the descent. So maybe about eight miles out, you should hit it. Um, but yeah, it's not difficult. Um, it's a lot, people think it's a lot harder than what it is, but when you have so much technology around you, your iPad, your airplane, um, you the actual amount of math that you, sh you really do is, is not that much. Um, like it gets a little more tricky in instrument like when you do a time turn um, so they're like if you were to turn at standard rate because a standard rate turn is three degrees per second if you were to turn 180 degrees how long would it take well a uh, full turn is two minutes so a half uh, you know 180 is one minute if they were like oh if you wanted to turn 90 how long would it take like I find it very easy I go you know circle so I go zero, uh, zero, and then a 15, it would be, what is that, 30, and then, wait, 15, damn, I can't do it without drawing it, hold on, there, minute, so it would be 30 seconds, yeah, so 90 degrees would be 30 seconds, um, then 15 degrees would be, or sorry, 45 would be what, 45 seconds, something like that, give or take. Love the feeling of steep turns, the force of gravity. It's only one or two. Yeah, it's not much. Um, I actually hate that feeling. Um, only because, like, I, I don't know. I really don't know why I hate it. I just hate it. But I enjoy a stall. Um, I really enjoy a stall for some weird reason. Be like, why do you like stalls so much? I don't know. They're cool. Leave me alone. But yeah, standard rate turns are a little tricky. Um, other than that, it's not much math. Um, like in private, um, the biggest things you'll want to know is weather. So like what's a cold front, a warm front, high pressure, low pressure. Um, you know, uh, what could happen if you, like the biggest one is like, if you have a temperature and dew point that are within five degrees in, co in closing, what, you know, what will happen or what will you see? That's a big one. You'll see visible moisture. Uh, they'll ask you cloud clearances. So 
things like if you're flying through class C airspace, what is your visibility limits? And the best way to think of it is the C-152 rule, um, which is technically three miles, right? Three miles, which C is the third letter of the alphabet. So three miles and then 152, 1,000 feet above, 500 below, 2,000 feet horizontally is how far you need to stay away from the cloud. Um, but things like that, you'll just learn through studying systems there you go um you'll definitely want to know about systems um I'm trying to think because i had the world's easiest check right so i really shouldn't be out here dishing out advice uh but yeah electrical vacuum pedostatic um i don't know if they went into like gyros gyroscopic instruments at all but you'll you'll see like once you get there you'll like it it's fun uh, all right, back to this. We have the catch a can six off of one one. We're going here. Uh, we're going to this airport of Petersburg, right? So we'll import the new flight. It's telling us to land runway two three. I hope that's not a uh, no, it's an exit song, but it's boring. Uh, approach, we have an RNAV right here and this is what we're gonna hunt for so it should take us the RNAV to runway 23 so we'll come down the chute and BAM you have to be here see the runway make the turn um, what's the weather still 10 miles alright alright we gotta move 10 miles <laughs> I said that last time it was fine but 10 miles uh, overcast at 5 broken at 28 temperature 6 dew point 4 okay that's fun so that's our approach. Oh boy, which one is this? Arnav what? Arnav Bravo. Okay, so the that one, and we're gonna take it from. Let's see. How are we going to do this from the VOR? So we'll take it, the VOR is down here somewhere, uh, so we'll take it from the VOR and do the approach. Activate and execute, we'll go to the plan mode, see what it looks like, uh, legs, so we'll take off, we'll take a look at that catch can 6 departure, it looks kind of cool. Um, there's the VOR, we fly up, do this not doing the hold this there to go This one. Let's take a gander at that one. From that LVD VOR. Pilot Porta, how are you, my guy? 28 months, man. That's crazy. That's just absolutely crazy. How are you living, my friend? Alright, I gotta figure this out. Um, okay. Then to there. Uh, okay, I got it. I got it. Cool. 10,000. Uh, they're done, so let's jump over here. We can pause the tunes. There we go. Uh, like pre uh, When I saw Owl's video of him in the play, I knew I wanted to go to, f to flight school. Now, that's awesome, dude. Like, that's absolutely awesome, man. Um, definitely... You know, it's it's one of those things where you'll know quick, quick, fast, and in a hurry uh, that you want to do it, and then it's just up to you to put forth the effort to make it happen. Um, that that's really all it is. It's just it's just one of those things that it just you got to do it. This guy, Kenny, twenty five months, bang! 
<laughs> What's going on, man? Uh, 30 months. Ah, yes, 30 months. Touche. Touche. So everybody can tack on two months to their, their uh, whatchamacallit. Select temp is 50. Dang, again? 51. Uh, so we can go here. And what is it? 130. So we'll put in 130 right there. We'll get everything turned back on. We'll call for Jisix. Actually, these could stay off because they're literally going to get turned back off. Do I want icing? No. That's good. And the collision. Thank you. Um, turn the seatbelts on for the boxes. We have king crab. We're hauling some king crab and some super good salmon up to some other part. Hello, there. Captain. We're ready to push back. Thing. So. We'll just, they're just saying that it's down south it's a little better. Uh, 51, T01, and flaps are 1. So we have that. Then we'll switch it to 1345. Oh boy, 5.62. Oh my goodness me. This guy. Departure this check guy. completed. Bypass pin inserted. If you guys are picking up a. Uh, uh, gifted membership, you better say thank you. Porter, you are a... Whew, I don't know what to tell you, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is just unbelievably kind. So make sure you guys say thank you uh, to Mr. Pilot Porter. Locking gear. Locking gear. We want to go to the uh, left, please. And we do have a departure out of here. Let's take a gander at it. Catch can 6, departure... Very simple. 116 heading to 2,000 feet, make the turn to 190, 147 to the and VOR, and then we get the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> yes, yes, we'll have to hit the welcomes and a bunch of. Yippee! There it is. There you go. Uh, to the left. Remove the chalks. I can do that. Release parking brakes, please. If we must. Commencing push. Well. All engines clear. Start at will. We'll remove you. Thank you. Those are off. Engine two is getting turned. Oh, and real quick, before I forget, we we'll go down here. No. And that'll fix the little up top thing there, so it says we're going somewhere. There it is. Lovely. And engine off. I'd say we've made great time delivering all these fish heads and boat engines and fish hooks. You know, I think gunpowder. Yeah, we've had gunpowder. I don't know how they allowed it on the airplane, but... I guess in Alaska you just do these things. But yeah. Yeah, what a guy. Five gifted memberships. I can't believe it. We can arm you and you. It's a good start. Which, Kenny actually read my mind. Um, the next time we do brake. GA flying, the next time parking brake is set. Unlocking okay. gear. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yes. The next time we do some GA flying, this was actually going to be my my choice. Uh, there's a lot of cool little bush flights and you know off the beaten path airports here in Alaska. So. Uh, we will 100% be doing that. And he said we need to do some Colombian uh, flying. Uh, some Colombians. There, I gotta wait for the next message. The, the heart is blocking it. Uh, we'll flaps one, and we'll introduce the fuel. Whoops. Lovely. Colombian something so fuel flying uh, in the Cessna removed. 208. Is that a add-on airplane? There we go. Plumbing and nose fuel flying. There we right go. Add clear. folks to the mix. Ooh. I'm almost certain. 
I'm almost 100% positive. I'd take the Icon A5. <laughs> but, uh, Microsoft Flight Sims 172 floats. There it is. So you can put floats on the 172. And it's in, and it's in camo. That's, that's awesome. So yeah, that is what we'll do. We'll do some, uh, some float flying. Sick approach. Uh, the normal Microsoft mission was pretty... Oh, yes. It's 208 included. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we have everything we need. We don't even need anti-ice on this one. Uh, we get you off, get you on, put you there. The lady is out here somewhere. Uh, for all I know, she's gone. Oh, there she is. Yeah, she's gone. She said, huh. Screw you, guy. There. Catch again traffic, Alaska 9903 is taxiing runway 11 or catch again. Alright, flown into Sitka in the front. Really? Really? Do you have any like photos or videos or anything like that? That's gotta be like breathtaking. Just took off from Seattle heading to LA. Nice. Very nice. What are you flying? Oh, yeah. We're going to need this power to get up this hill. That's for sure. Uh, doesn't like it. Well, now you will. TARA. We're good. Lovely. Awesome. Yeah, as soon as we get up in the air, man, I'll, we, we'll definitely have to take a look at that, because that's just, whew. In the Dreamliner, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Does the Dreamliner still have that little issue where you land? Like, you come in and land, and the nose just comes flying down. Um, I haven't flown it in a while, so I can't really, you know, say, oh, it's the same as it was. But that's the one thing I've always noticed, is it the nose just comes absolutely flying down. Catch can traffic, Alaska 9903, departing runway 11, catch can 6, departure, catch can. Man, we took that runway. <laughs> that runway like a bat out of hell. Oh boy. Uh, reset the clock, please. Come on. Uh, I got it off. There. <laughs> That'll do it. Uh, we'll put these back on, we'll fix that one more time, hopefully it likes it. Get the 40%, there they are, rising together, full set. Airspeed alive? Sure is. 80 knots. Check. I don't know why it doesn't like the auto brakes. Positive rate gear is up. We'll go here. I gotta fix my seat because uh, I've like sunk. There, autopilot. There. Oh, look at that. Ships, baby. Oops. There. <coughs> got flaps one. Those are set. Flaps up. Set by a tech. Alright, cool. I'll. S 
how could I? I could probably share the Discord, I think, I hope. Flaps up. let it do what it does because it was supposed to go way out there but okay like we were supposed to go all the way around these here mountains but apparently the airplane doesn't like that where I said uh-uh not today junior there we go still pop up soon all right cool perfect Traffic Alaska 9903s through 5.5, climbing 10, last call, catch can. Uh, I don't remember what I put because I didn't change it like a dodo. Um, 16,000, so we can actually change that. We'll put in 16,000. This. And delivered. All right, perfect. Now I gotta think, think with my dipstick. Well, the photos are up. Well, I'm gonna look at my damn self first. Oh my. All right. Let's see. How can I share these to see on Discord? Um, if I save them, see, hopefully it won't be it won't be like oh you're they're too powerful. We'll see. A two minute one will definitely definitely won't work, um, but these ones might. Oh, it did! It took them all! Well, Bob Saget. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're through 10, we'll get the lights off, we'll check Discord. Uh, I didn't think that two minute one would, would have worked. Because I try to send a video myself and hey, it's too powerful. But apparently. Alright, so. Start here. It's full screen. Look at that. Hmm. Hold on, we're gonna have to turn the sound up on that one there. Uh, yeah, probably gonna make me deaf. Okay, <laughs> that's awesome. Like, that is legitimately Awesome. And this is this is Porter, guys. This ain't me. Like I will say, Microsoft does a good job of replicating this, but this is absolutely, hello, absolutely gorgeous. Pig slip you for that uh, for that boat, bud. Look at that, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That's that's cool as hell. What I need to use downwind on this side. 
Pilot Depth, man, have a great rest of your evening. I appreciate you as always stopping by. Have a great, great night, man. Sleep tight, don't let the pet bugs bite. If you do, stay away from me. Yeah, see ya! Now, why why do you have to be behind him in a boat? Skip ahead, all right, to the takeoff. Yeah, why do you why do you have to be in a boat? That's honestly sweet. Like, that was a... ODP if I ever saw it. Yeah, you're you're in the plane. So you were... So you were... Where is it? This one. Filming the guy... Well, you know, obviously filming the, the whole thing, but... We saw the guy in this one. That is awesome. Like, the, Alaska is honestly, like, just so cool. I would love to go for, like, two weeks. That's about it. Cause especially not when it's cold. It can be cold. I'm not. I'm a sucker when it gets to cold. Um, I've become uh, southern spoiled. Like, but, yeah, that is honestly, like, amazing. That is absolutely, like, amazing. That's... Did you get to log any of that time? Like, could you imagine having some Alaska airport codes in your logbook? There we go. This chair's on its way out. I highly recommend a cruise. I want, yeah, I want to go on an Alaska cruise so bad. Um, I'm not sure if that's something on Warden's bucket list. I'm not sure. Um, but it is 100% on mine. Um, yeah, Simbrief gave us 16, so we'll switch this to 16, 100,000, 10,000, like so. And cool. There. Um, and then let me take Gander at this, so... Let's do that. So what we'll do is we'll do the whole procedure turn and everything. Yo, ain't no way, ain't no freaking way <laughs> you're back. I remember Chris and nah, I, dude, I, I had to. I missed you guys far too much, man. How are you? How's life? Hopefully all is well. Yeah, I couldn't do it. And it was, you know, big thanks to my mother. Uh, a couple other people as well. But yeah, my mom's like, nah, you made too made too many good friends up, up on YouTube. You can't just up and leave because of a couple of numbers. So I uh, was like, Ma, you're right, Bob Saget. <laughs> you're right. But yeah, hopefully all is well. Hopefully you're doing just fine. There you go. Um, so, we'll take a look at that. Where to go? This space goes there. Oh, it pulled up over here. Sound? No sound? Sound? Hello? Check, check. There's a the sound. Like 
there's not a little, there's no toggle for it. No. Well, that's a bummer. I'll, I'll, uh, since I have it, I'll record it on my phone and we'll be able to. Sound is in the bottom right corner. Oh, okay. Bottom right. Why couldn't I see? Hold on. I was gonna say, I'll just, like, screen record it on my phone or something. Uh. Are you guys seeing something that I'm not? Let me move my, my little beloved, my sea line, oh, my seahorses. Bottom right corner. Oh! 75200, make Good. several turns so I can identify you on radar. Real call? Okay then, that lake is the Atlantic Ocean. To get you turned to the letter W immediately. I am in center 7500, student pilot. I'm making a long cross country and I'm lost. I'm over big lake. My heading uh, towards uh, letter E. 75200, make several turns so I can identify you on radar. Real car? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay then. That lake is the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> to get you turn to the letter W immediately. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this, this can't be real. <laughs> nah, he said I'm over a big lake. Nah, that's hilarious. Ain't no way. Hey, <laughs> student pilot, <laughs> and I'm lost. Oh, Lord. That's great. That is great. Oh, man. Bamron, what's up, bro? Salute to you. Hopefully you're doing well. Life's great over here, man. We are about to do this uh, approach into Petersburg, Alaska, so it should be pretty cool. Um, we actually got a setup for it right now. Uh, 166. Hold on. One. One sixty-six. MDA minimums. We are a definitely a Category C airplane. Oh my God. Three thousand feet. Alright, give me about five minutes to get this thing to 3,000, and then we'll, we'll go from there. There's two. Alright. Three thousand eighty, to be exact. Go, go, go! And this is fifty-five hundred. Right, I think. Uh, fifty, fifty-six hundred. 600. Cool. Alright, got it all. Uh, we have auto brakes to run our position 2. Um, and final coach is 166. Melzai is final coach fix, 3500. Uh, this one will actually do a normal brief because I remember last time, like I said, I botched this one bad. Um, so, we're coming up from the VOR. We're going to shoot this way. We'll, if we're, if we are still high, we'll just do a lap in the hold on inbound, but uh, it's an RNAV approach, uh, final approach course 166 Melzai is our final approach fix here at 3,500 feet. For our category, a category C airplane, uh, our minimums are 3,080 feet. The airport elevation is 113 and MSA around uh, Jobu is 11,000 feet. Excuse me, if we have to go mist, it's going to be at Jobu. We're going to fly 173 until I... Uh, 
we hit the VOR and we'll hold there. If we have to go mist, I'm going somewhere else. How about that? Um, lighting referred to, oh boy, uh, referred to the airport charts. Got high intense, oh boy. Uh, well, that's not our airport. There's our airport. I was gonna say that didn't even make no sense. Um, two three, we got high intensity, or sorry, a uh, real system, high intensity real lighting, medium intensity, and Pappy's are on the left at a three degree glide. Okay, so we should see some lights over here should see good sets of lights uh, and then hopefully we'll come out uh, two reds two whites yeah, I was gonna say wait a minute that ain't judo <laughs> whoops uh, we are going to Petersburg Petersburg Alaska uh, we can get our lights on there um, we'll bring this in we'll start getting fuel or not speeds 131 that's more like it uh, legs and we'll take whatever the runway is of two three we'll drop it in oops here there dash 10 mile ring thank you all right lovely we'll make a call we'll turn off the tunes there we go whoops uh well still i'm arriving in a small after yes we're all doomed um, yes, catch can more like catch me if you can. <laughs> Pretty much, we'll get our approach lights on. We are on the approach. Uh, Petersburg traffic, Alaska 9903 is out of 10,000, descending 5,600. RNAV 23 will be doing the full procedure turn. Uh, catch can traffic. There we go. Uh, was there an update? This is the second stream I've seen Alaska cargo ops. No, there isn't. A, there isn't, at least not to my knowledge. There is no. Um, update Caleb what's up bro how are you how have you been there is no update but this is truly one of the un underappreciated unloved gems of the sim um, like take a look at these screenshots here uh, from our departure where were we? out of somewhere the very first flight we took uh, nope that ain't it there it is. So yeah, take a look. Take a look at that. Like that is just gorgeous, man. I only got two, so hopefully you like both. But yeah, look at that. It's just it's an un, un underappreciated, an unsung hero is what I'm trying to say. Uh, gorgeous. At some point, this is gonna start beating red. I'm sure of it. Uh, we'll definitely want some. Nice protection on. Yeah. Four through the clouds? Yeah. <laughs> Did I do that? This is my man Steve Urkel. But Myra, you said you loved me. <laughs> uh, replay. There it is. We'll start it now so I don't forget it. There we go. Close his eyes. I can't see. I can only afford it for the flight on mobile. Oh, man. I've actually I've heard good things about it, um, but I've never tried it myself never tried it um, we don't need to hold we just need to do the procedure turn so we'll uh, get rid of the hold all right well we'll do it once we get there because I'm not going to screw it all up and then it puts us on some on some impossible turn so we'll just uh, We'll do it once we get in back turned around. We'll just go direct. But Myra. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Friday. Uh, somebody said something about Friday. Any any stream plans on Friday? Um, it depends on when my flight lesson is. Uh, that's what it all. That's what life boils down to. Now is when my flight lessons are. Um, if I don't have anything on my schedule for a flight lesson then I probably will do some streaming absolutely Friday the 19th is family day I'm pretty sure you don't need 
base access, but Saturday and Sunday Prime Park access. Double check. Oh, for the, Ch the Charleston Air Show? Okay. Yeah, let me know. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. I mean, the flight is good, but the scenery is just oh, Yeah. Well, I mean, you could probably only get so much performance out of, like, an iPhone or a, a tablet. So I, I wouldn't be too mad, right? Like, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be, like, chomping at the bit for, like, the world's greatest scenery's. Just playing stream, ex yeah, exactly. Just playing stream while in, while in the plane. So, exactly. All right, let's pull the brakes out. Traffic, uh, Alaska 9903s approaching Red Res 2 uh, for the procedure turn for the RNAV 23. Petersburg traffic. Ah, screwed myself. <coughs> we'll arm those, we'll get out flaps 5, and we'll stay at 190, that's good for now. And then once we make the turn the first one, the teardrop. Alright, when we make this teardrop, I we won't we definitely won't need the hold, so we'll just go right to cup up. For what infinite flight is not bad when you're boarded on the go? There you go. Be like the guy <laughs> Oh yeah, I yeah, there was a guy who literally didn't went cross country in that thing. But you need Wi Fi for infinite flight. Well, I got that. I got Wi-Fi, um, so hopefully we should be all right on those on that one. Uh, we'll put one sixty-six for the course. There. Uh, do you want to do a voice chat one day? We can go over. Uh, we can go over stuff like for flight school. Yeah, I'm down. You can ask me all the questions you want. I can't promise you I know it all, but um, I can give you at least what I've gone through. From because I've done part 61, so like a mom and pop shop, like you just go to a local airport, take flight lessons, and then obviously a lift. It's called 141, um, so it's kind of like an accelerated or a uh, almost like a college-ish style, like you know, advanced learning training. Uh, whatever they want to call it. So I've done them both, so I can give you my two cents for all of it. We'll report inbound. Um, and, oh dear. And then a cup up is 4100, so we'll start that down. Lovely. And then we'll pop cup up there. And we don't need enter the hole. But we'll do that in just a second. We'll let it finish its turn out so we don't, we can't screw nothing up. Can't screw it up. We're doing so good. say, what are your recommendations for finding flights uh, in addition to checking Flight Radar 24 because Flight Radar 24 only shows so much because airlines change so much what plane to use for a certain route. Um, I, I just go to, a, I fly for a VA. Um, you know, right? Like, if I want to fly for American, I'll, you know, I have American Virtual Airlines um, on Vamsis because they have I'll show, remind me on the ground, I'll show you on the ground. Uh, I wish I had myself put the same, but I don't because I don't spend money on PC. Travel, nah, hey, I get that. I get that. Remind me on the ground. I'll show you kind of how I do it. Because um, I, uh, believe it or not, I might check Flight Radar 24 all of, I don't know, a couple times. Not not a lot, but I, I do use it sometimes. All right, here we go. Cup up. Direct. There we go. Should start us down. Come on, baby.
Petersburg, traffic Alaska 9903, um, inbound, Arnav, uh, Bravo for 23, Petersburg traffic. Alright, let's make sure our sounds are up, which they seem to be, we'll turn them up on the keyboard here. Lovely. Cool, alright, I'm going to pay somewhat attention to this approach, our minimums are 3080. Um, so yeah, I will catch you guys on the ground. Hopefully we don't drop dead. Now, could I press approach and get like, what is it, final approach course and glide path? Yep, there it is. Aha! Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Gear down pretty early because our minimums are not even at 2,500. So we'll make sure we are nice and configured. Come on, don't make me do this. Damn, we'd have to go miss. Actually, not right now, uh, at Jobu. So we got what? Uh, uh, four miles, come on, baby. Come on. You know you want to. Like, you just want us to break out at the last minute. Don't be a pain. Come on. You know you want to. Be a doll. Be a friend. Come on! We gotta wait till Jobu. Come on! Come on! Yeah, the replay's on. Please break out. Please break out. It just blew right through the damn minimums. 2500. Come on! We got a mile and a half before we gotta go missed. Why did it blow? Th oh, well, it's on the glide path, that's why. Damn! I would have failed my I would have failed my uh, 737 check ride. It's over here, I know that.
Are you serious? We're gonna have to go mist. Yep. Gear up. Flaps 15. Oh, I put my gear up bef uh, beforehand. There we go. There you go. Climb, you old hog. And heading. The horn will go off in a minute. It's just I put my gear up before I did flaps 15. 6,000. Petersburg traffic, Alaska 9903, let's go and miss, fly to publish, miss, catch can. There we go. <laughs> let's ride. I, I was close. I was very close to doing it. Um, oh, 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 oh. No, you don't. No, you don't. Why did the autopilot come back on? There we go. There we go. Autopilot, there it is. Flight level change, let's go to 10. And figure out, what do you guys wanna do? Should we try it again? Should we change the weather or should we go somewhere else? What do you wanna do? Flaps can come up and we'll get this back to normal. What should we do? Uh, I was about to let it ride and just try to, you know, wing it, but I was like, I don't even know where the grass is. Um, and let's keep climbing up to, I don't know, 8,000. Flight level change. <laughs> we have crashes. We're fine. I mean, I'm, hey, I'm not opposed to it. Um, what do you guys want to do? Should we just give it another shot? Divert to another airport? Uh, go to Anchorage? Oh, what? Anchorage? Where the heck is Anchorage in reference to us? Forever and a day away. Um, if we were going to divert, it would probably be back to Sitka. That's where I would go, Sitka. Um, what should we do? It's all good, man. Uh, there's 8,000. We're going to speed up. Uh, hopefully our anti-ice was on. Yeah. Um, like, we could easily change the weather. We could easily go to Sitka. Or we could theoretically just simply wing it. <laughs> Fire said wing it. Oh, boy. But that's how you wind up on, like, world's deadliest crashes. Um... Uh, he said, wing that son of a bitch. <laughs> so wing it, baby. Yeah, baby. Um, all right. We can uh, give it another go. Let's see. Approaches. Uh, this one from the VOR. There it is. We'll activate and execute. We'll go to the VOR. How far is Sitka? It's I'll at least turn us back in this direction. Um, Sitka is. We are going to be landing here, hopefully. Sitka's right here. So it's just a little twist and turn in through there. But now these poor people aren't going to get their fish hooks and king crab. Just want to make sure we don't die. Uh, but if we don't. Wait, you got an ad? What? to Philadelphia. Dude, we flame out. We'd flame out before we hit Vancouver. Oh, man. Well, we're high enough, so I guess we'll shoot it again. We'll give it an honest an honest shot here. Um, if he said Innsbruck, yes, we'll go the long way, too. We'll fly over Russia.
because if we do this again, we're really going to be tight on gas. So, I don't know. I really don't want to flame out. Because we had, we had the opportunity to make the proper decision to go to Sitka, right? Like, we could have. But if we flame out, then it's like, well, hell, now we just turn into a boat. Um, and I really don't want to ruin my lovely new shoes that I just got for my, my pilot job. So we'll give it a go, hopefully. Oh, what the hell. Patience. Take that cargo with you for survival. Exactly. Why did this just freeze? Don't you dare. No, you didn't. I'll call the refueler. Stand by. Thank you. Well, this literally just froze, so there's a good chance we may not be doing anything unless this snaps out of it. Oh, I think it's a gunner because it didn't snap back yet. Oh yeah, I think that's a rip. Mother effer with a PH on that one. Hmm. Hold on, task manager. Let's see. This will this will tell me. Task manager, Microsoft. Where are you? Uh, flight simulator is a goner. Because it's only using like 6% of my CPU. Yep, she's gone. That is a pain. Well, I guess our answer, that answer is for us. Uh, damn! This place got us twice. We're coming back here and we're going to bring in a 737 on the first try. But it ain't going to be today. Uh, I have the same issues with the PMDG. Yeah, I don't know why. I only I only have this issue with the PMDG. Um, I don't have it in the CRJ. I'm trying to think of planes I fly. CRJ, Airbus, no, I don't have it. Oh, yep, there goes uh, uh, whatever you call it, V-Pilot, disconnect. Well, guys, what time is it? 11.30. Oh, hell. Um, I think that'll do it. Let's see. Hold on. Let's come up with a game plan while we're sitting here stuck in space. Uh, damn! Look at that. We got it right there. Well, if we stream tomorrow, we could run this back. Obviously not the whole flight. Um, we could maybe do like... I think they're, yeah, Anchorage to June. No, or we can go like, no, because we got to land here, so we can't leave here. Um, we could do like a round robin, right? Like we go Juno here and back, or like Juno here. Uh, yeah, Juno here and back. Could do that. Um, but we'll probably fly some passengers this time, because. Since these folks ain't getting their cargo, maybe they we can bring their loved ones to come identify the cargo. But yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll we'll try that because it's eleven thirty almost, um, and I really don't want to sit here for another twenty minutes before we even get off the ground. Um, so that blows um, really bad because I was ready to grease this one, truthfully, psych. Uh, but yeah, plan on that tomorrow. Uh, we'll go ahead and actually, I got a better idea. We'll just, we'll wing it, right? So we'll go here, Juno to here, and then maybe we can just load up somewhere, you know, and just partake in a flight. Like, it doesn't, like, we don't have to go back if you don't want to, but we could maybe go, like, Seattle to somewhere or, you know, whatever, but we'll see. Um, I'll kind of think of it over the course of the evening, and we'll we'll come back and load up tomorrow, but I just really don't want to sit, sit here for another 20 minutes, load the sim, and all that all that good crap but uh, this airport just doesn't want me to grease it that's all it's not ready it's, it's simply not ready for what we're about to offer it 
Um, with that being said, guys, I appreciate everything, as always. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. If you got school tomorrow, good luck. If you have spring break tomorrow, be safe. If you got work tomorrow, go make some money. I have off tomorrow, so I'm going to do a lot of nothing. But in the meantime, uh, reload at P. I can tell you on the weather, because my sim takes forever. Like, my my sim, with all the crap I have, it just it's just a long time to load in the sim. Um, the weather is, right now, weather, VFR, it's showing 15 minutes ago, variable at 4, 8 miles, scattered at 1,900, broken at 37, overcast at 9,000. Uh, but the problem is this right here, the temperature and dew point. Um, we needed, like, if this was like 4 and 10, we'd have been fine. Like, we'd have got below this and been pretty good. Um, even even the broken, like, we probably would have broke out. Yeah, because our minimums were 30, 80. Uh, but anyways, we'll tackle this monster tomorrow. Guys, have a great rest of your evening. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Most importantly, stay dangerous. See ya!